Hey, what's going on folks? Let's look through some more pocket change and see if we find anything worth more than face value or is at least collectible. Series 2017A, $10 note. What are we looking for? Uh, shifts in the print, wonky print, error notes. Uh, hopefully we'd find something really valuable, fold over errors, uh, misprints and miscuts. Uh, most notably, a lot of people are collecting uh, fancy serial numbers or patterns in the serial numbers. Amongst a few other things. Nothing going on the serial number on this one and pretty clean on the front. I like to look at the back, uh, especially around the trees on either side of the depiction of the U.S. Treasury building, which is really cool to visit if you ever get a chance. Tens did a redesign in the early 2000s to do some anti-counterfeiting measures, uh, so that also aided a little bit in some misprints that have been found over the years by people on the back of the note. Moving along, little shift in this seal, 2017, huge run of $1 notes. Nothing in the serial number, a little bit of ones, a little bit of sevens. And nothing to talk about graphics-wise on ones for like 70 years now. And nothing on the back. I do like to keep an eye out around the seal, though, on the left and right sides of the back of the $1 note. It would have been nice to have a couple different digits at a broken ladder serial number. Another 2017 note. Nothing on the back. Uh, 2017 and then uh, the newer series coming out will be the most prevalent we're going to see along with 2013s, which are known to have kind of an over ink or two on different portions of the note. 2017A, uh, two, three, four, five, would have been nice to have a six and a nine in there. Have a broken ladder. Ladder notes are really collectible. They're serial numbers that go in order, either ascending or descending. Broken ladders just being broken up, which are far less collectible, but still worth a little bit. And free gunk on the back. Nice. Ch chewed gum or something. Would have been nice to have a date note here, 09, 12, and then like 2001 would have been, uh, you know, the day after 9-11. Stuff like that is really collectible as far as serial numbers, things that are kind of like historic or important dates or crazy events, whether they're positive or negative, that have happened in, in uh, especially U.S. history, are really collectible. And then date notes, uh, birthday notes of not only friends, but famous people, stuff like that. Nothing on the back, but as I mentioned, keep an eye out around the depictions of the Great Seal. And 2013 $5 note. Let's see if I zoom in just a little bit more, give you a better look at it. And nothing there. Back of the note. These are probably my favorite fives out of for the last few decades, really. I like the redesign, I like the enhancements to the portrait of Lincoln and the Lincoln Memorial on the back. And 2017 $1 note, little shift down here. Usually you'll see a shift coinciding with the serial numbers and the seals due to the process in which uh, U.S. banknotes are printed. Nothing crazy going on. Keep an eye out for shifts in the print. If it's sitting way off on one border or the other, that can be a uh, collectible or considered an error note. Kind of much bigger shift here. You can see how far over it is, but unless it's sitting kind of off the word one in one direction or another, I wouldn't consider that like a misprint. Nothing on the back there. Eh, a little bit of Kind of a stuck digit note where the 3 and 8 are sitting just a hair higher, but unless it's way off, I don't really hold on to them. Nothing there. And one, missing a 2, having double 6s here. Would have been nice to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but we're missing the 2 and have two 6s on there. That would have been one of those broken ladders I mentioned earlier and would have been worth uh, a little bit over face value, albeit this note's really beat up, so condition, uh, condition kind of plays into that quite a bit. Nothing going on there. 2013 series shifted up. You can see the seal's sitting a little high. 
So is the serial number here. Well, this one's been jacked up a bunch of times. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Quasi kind of repeater note, 2013. Serial number has kind of bookends. Repetitious ends here. I guess bookends are more like 077 than 770. But I do like the repeater ends on it. Kind of neat. Really beat up though. But kind of a small find. I don't think it's worth anything more than the face value of a dollar. But I think it's kind of a neat serial number. So I'll set it aside for now. 2017 note. Look at how off this 6 is. Man. It's not off at all on this side, but look at that. Now that I actually like a lot. I'm going to have to research some value on that, so usually I try to go, hey, it's worth a couple bucks more or whatever, but that one's pretty off. I'll have to reference them. I mean, it could be worth like two bucks. I don't know. Maybe it's worth 40 bucks, but it's got a nice fold in the middle, so that definitely kind of sucks as far as condition. It's got a fold straight up too, so the condition's pretty bad, but that's a really off stuck digit. So, I mean, I'd consider that almost a kind of error, misprint error on the serial number. So I'm gonna set it aside. I don't see anything on the back of the note. $10 bill. Eh, 2013 series, so a little older than the other one that we looked at. Same deal though. The treasury building's not like crazy cool, but it is it's it's such a large building, so it's cool to visit all that stuff. We'll be heading back to DC soon, so I'll take some footage there of uh the coin store, US Mint coin store, and hopefully be able to do some tours. That way uh you guys can see stuff if you're unable to actually get to DC and check it out anytime soon. Nothing going on on the back of the note. Kind of a little deal here. I call them odometer notes if it's like the end digit, but in this case, this eight's, you know, here. That's just from a little rotary dial that does the serial number during printing being uh, improperly lubricated, so human error generally. And uh, it just kind of gets like jammed up and doesn't print it right in kind of a linear format like it's supposed to. Good repetition of nines and fives, but not blocked up or repeater enough. I really like binary notes with just two digits. Uh, that's what I would most look for when it comes to uh, repeater digit notes or serial numbers personally. Last but not least, little five action 2017 A series. So a pretty large amount of these were printed. I don't see anything really jumping out as far as uh, print. It is shifted kind of over where this Margin is a little smaller, but unless it's sitting on the edge there, it's not a, considered a misprint or a miscut note or anything. Nice tear in it, so condition leaves a lot to be desired. Still worth five bucks, and uh, maybe I'll throw a little piece of tape so it doesn't tear all the way through. Spend this thing on lunch tomorrow or something. What did we hold on to? First off, kind of a bookends, I guess, would be the best thing. Correct me in the comments if you call it something different, but like... A bookend serial number. Better would have been if it was 077 then 770 on the end. Even better would have been 077 and then uh, se all sevens basically with zeros on the end. Those would have been really good. Uh, what's known as a radar note. Could be read forward to backward, backward to forward. But also known as a repeater note. So you kind of would have would have had a couple things going on if I can talk. That would have made it really valuable over the $1 face value. In this sense, it's just kind of a cool little serial number. What I really liked that we found was this guy here, which I don't have to even bring it closer to the camera. You can see how off that six is. I'll do some research like on eBay last sold and maybe some uh, graded sales, although those would be far higher than this could be, and see what values uh, kind of stuck digit notes like this have. And I will let you know in the description or the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, better luck for you and your coin, banknote, and collectible searches uh, lately. Let me know in the comments what you've come across. I love reading about that. So I'll see you in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe if you enjoy money like we do and collecting stuff. And uh, 
I appreciate it. You guys are the bee's knees. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.